We've made it through the madness, and now we've come to the final four, where we see number one Gonzaga taking on Cinderella, number 11 UCLA, for a chance to play for the national championship. Big spread in this one. Let's take a look. The Zags are hefty favorites in this one, opening minus 13 and a half and jumping to minus 14, making them the biggest final four chalk since UCLA minus 17 way back in 1972. And why not? The Zags have been absolutely dominant all tournament, cruising to a perfect 4-0 ATS record on the back of an average winning margin of 24 points per game. 24 points! Yes, UCLA has some magic in the works here. Uh, but they have this another long extended layoff for McCronin's team, which overcame slow starts versus both Alabama and Michigan. Johnny Juzang is probably the most dialed in player in the tournament right now, especially after single handedly beating the Wolverines with 28 of the Bruins' 51 total points. The thing is, Gonzaga has about four guys just as locked in as Juzang, and that's where the advantage lies. The Bulldogs have four players averaging 13.8 points or more, and those four guys are shooting a collective 45% from the floor. Gonzaga just has too many options, even if UCLA can take some of those away. And that's why we're going to lay the lumber with the Zags, minus 14. As for the total, this one sits at 145.5 points. You know, you got to give credit to the Bruins on the defensive end. They've just swarmed the interior. They've got inside their opponent's shorts, just forcing them to play outside of their regular offense. And if not for the overtime versus Bama, UCLA would be on a four-game underrun. But let's not poo-poo the Zags on that end of the floor either. Gonzaga is fifth in the holy metric of adjusted defensive efficiency, while limiting foes to just under 40% shooting from the field and just 21 for 75% from three-point range during the big dance. Mark Hughes' guys are also on a 3-1 and one underrun in their last four games and have stayed under in six of their eight totals of 153.5 points or fewer on the season. So we're going with the Zags, and we're going with the under 145. For more picks and predictions for the final four games, visit our March Madness Hub, and be sure to follow us on Twitter at Covers. Good luck.